Welcome to a remastered version of the cat game Iceberg. This video will have many things you never heard about with additional topics. This improved Iceberg has better commentary than a deleted Iceberg I made a year ago. That gives you 99,999,999 XP. If you are new to this outdated trend, an iceberg video has several topics on the iceberg. The more profound the subject is in the iceberg, the more obscure and disturbing topics appear. For the experienced players, I recommend that you skip to the third or fourth layer of the iceberg as most topics on the surface are commonly known. Timestamps are in the description below. Make sure to grab a snack and let's get right into the iceberg. Doge is the first enemy you will face in your cat game experience. He is used in many stages as peons and has many variants like Angel and Black. Doge can be highly boosted in some stages to become a threat. Cat food is the premium currency in Battle Cats, where you can obtain from events and clearing stages for the first time. It is used to buy items and do gacha draws to unlock new powerful cats. The gacha is the gambling part of the game, where you spend your cat food to acquire new cats. And there are different classes of units you can get, like rare, super rare, uber rare, and legend rare. Talents are extra abilities that can make particular units more powerful. You can unlock the talent feature and gather MP by beating Awakened Bahamut in Into the Future Chapter 3. You can get MP by selling units or other things in your storage. The best way to farm MP outside of gold capsules would be farming regular and event capsules with units each selling 1 or 2 MP each. If you haven't beaten Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 3, save your normal tickets as you can unlock Capsule Plus after fully completing Cats of the Cosmos, where you can sell them 2 times the amount of MP. Chapters 1 to 9 are the main chapters with 48 stages each, with treasures to collect, and have three sagas, Empire of Cats, Into the Future, and Cats of the Cosmos. Each have three out of the nine chapters. You can also unlock badass units and features after beating each saga, Bahamut in Empire of Cats, MP in Into the Future, and Philly Buster in Cats of the Cosmos. Treasures are medals you can obtain from beating stages in the 9 main chapters I mentioned. They increase your efficiency, defense, attack, and research to help you in your cat game journey. Oh, and grab all treasures at Empire of Cats before fighting Chapter 3 Moon. Trust me, you will need them. Flower Cat is a special unit you can acquire secretly by repeatedly opening the door on the start page. He has a chance to freeze blacks and has a third form that you can get in a particular stage on the 22nd of every month at 2.22pm. His last form has a 100% chance freeze against black and is useful in many stages. Collabs are special events that appear about once a month. Collabs are typically from a video game or anime, and have unique stages that you can complete for decent or amazing rewards, like XP, cat food, and items. You can also obtain units from collabs, either from a collab stage or in the gacha, and they sometimes have true forms like Saber. Platinum Ticket is a ticket that gives you a guaranteed chance to acquire an Uber Air unit. You can procure the Platinum Ticket by doing particular stages or when it's available for purchase. Archer is Best Cat is an old meme about Archer being the best cat in the game. In fact, he isn't. APK hacks are hacked versions of the Battle Cats where you start with 1 million cat food and 99 million XP, and is one of the most common cheats people use. The Aku Realms is where you first encounter Aku enemies and a seal, limiting your cat's power to what it's currently on. There are 50 stages, each raising your seal by a level. After fighting the final boss, the seal breaks forever and unlocks a new legend unit called Gigando. The realm is playable by beating the wicked cats that appear at a specific time. Talent orbs are orbs that can power up certain talented units to a higher degree. You can possess these orbs by completing Enigma stages or Baron stages that has a chance to send you to a second stage. They can either increase resistance or damage depending on what the game gives the player. You can also combine talent orbs with other orbs with the same abilities and rank to create a more powerful orb for talented cats. 
Philly Buster is an enemy you fight after beating Cat God the Great in Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 3, where his invasion stage appears. After winning Philly's invasion, he joins our cat army with the ability to make a pro on the deck that can freeze traitless. Let's be honest, nobody uses him except for me. Super Feline is a unit that was recently added in version 11.1, .1, being the 10th normal cat in the game. He is an anti-relic who can do massive damage, and you have a 5% chance of pulling him in normal capsule plus after beating Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 3. Heavenly Tower is an event where you can climb the tower to fight challenging stages and bosses on top floors. There are 50 floors and 3 bosses, Corrin, Yulala, and Mystic URL. The tower is available for two weeks, appearing about once every three, four months. Wildcat slots is a feature where you can get massive amounts of cat food by pulling the slots. You can draw two times where you have a chance to receive around a thousand cat food. Slots appear on significant celebratory events and you can pull them two to three times per event. Stars had an old feature where stars were a placeholder for crowns for 5 years in legend stages that used to be on the right corner on a subchapter, where stars indicate that you are facing a greater difficulty in a subchapter. Stars are now symbols indicating how difficult a subchapter or event stage is. Stars, now crowns, can be collected to face an event challenge called Legend Quest. Advent Cats are units you can have in your cat army by completing certain event stages that appear on specific days. They can be between astonishing like slime or awful as Aka Researcher. Bowcats JP is a Japanese version of the game, having many differences from the global version. Instead of taking over the world in Empire Cats, it's taken over Japan. And the events are entirely different, like collaborations. UL, or Uncanny Legends, is a sequel to Stories of Legends, where you have to face more vigorous enemies and stages that are either a gimmick or just full-out blasphemy. One example is Ashes Just Ahead, a genuinely merciless stage where you have to face a horde of nasty H-hands with no money to spare. UL also introduces a new enemy type called Relics, which can inflict a curse on your units that makes them unable to use their abilities. Battlecats Unite is a version of Battlecats available on the Nintendo Switch. The game was initially released on December 20, 2018 by Ponos with small features like minigames and can farm unlimited cat food by collecting treasures you already have. Battlecats Unite is a smaller version of the mobile game by having 3 main chapters instead of 9, with Stories of Legends only going up to the 9 dam with crazed and manic stages. Unite also has exclusive units from other versions like Bonsai Cat. Reddit slash Battlecats is a subreddit dedicated to this funny cat game where people can post and share memes, videos, and art. The subreddit was originally made on March 26, 2012 and has amassed over 70,000 members over the past 9 years. Year of the Rat is an exclusive stage in the global version of the Battlecats during the Lunar New Year's event. The stage introduces an enemy called Rat Doge and it rewards a player with 30 cat food every time it's beaten. Year of the Ox is another event. Instead of a single stage, it's a Baron with 10 stages, rewarding players with tickets for every level completed. The event introduces a new base and enemy, Cow Doge and the Angry Sun. Ponos created a channel dedicated to their most successful game, Battlecats, on November 5th, 2018, where they post upcoming updates, special events, and collaborations for the Japanese version of the game. I highly recommend checking out the Rum and a Half promo and Yanko Galleon opening. They are outstanding. I will link them in the description below with the channel. IDI is a unit from beating the IDI invasion stage after clearing all four crown stories of legend stages. IDI can make a devastating attack on relics and acts as a rush unit. When you use this unit, make sure to timer right. 
The Mr. Ninja Fever collaboration event was one of the first collaboration events in the global version of Battle Cats. Released on August 19th, 2015, you could receive 100 cat food and a special collab unit, Mr. Ninja and Mint. On the 9th anniversary of the Japanese version, there was another chance of obtaining Mr. Ninja by farming mystery boxes that you can roll for either an item or a limited unit. This means certain collabs only appear in the Japanese version of the game, as they have their own events and schedules, like Princess Punt Sweets, Castle and Dragons, and UFO Noodles. Princess Punch Sweets is an older collab than Mr. Ninja. This collaboration first appeared on April 26, 2013, being one of the first collaborations on the Japanese version and still only exclusive to JP. The last time the collab surfaced was early 2021, with 5 Ubers, one featuring one of my favorite units, the idol herself, Caretto. A hidden community on Twitch lies with some dedicated cat game players that stream their journey for the world to see. There are some outstanding streamers like Lucas the Fourth, Karayama, and myself, where I've been streaming the game on Twitch for a couple of months with an additional year and a half on YouTube. Link in the description for all mentioned. Seed tracking is on a website where you can track your seed and discover what you can get from the game's gotcha system. Some people consider tracking cheating and others say it's part of the game as Ponos doesn't fix this exploit. I believe it's in the gray area and depends if you want to ruin the gacha aspect of the game. Battle Cats Rangers was a spin-off game released on April 27th, 2017. Rangers was a simple tapping game with stale elements late in the game. Battle Cats Rangers was sadly put away on March 29th, 2019. Now the game sits forgotten to time. Battle Cats has a fan-made version where the gameplay is entirely different from the original game. You can quickly get the items you want and start off with some exclusive units that you can obtain from the main game. It has custom event stages and the entire UL is all deadly custom levels that only the best cat game players can defeat. Infernal Tower is another version of Heavenly Tower, or more like the opposite, introducing UL and more event enemies. After completing floor 40 of the original tower, you can unlock Infernal Tower, where there are more challenging remakes of the original Heavenly Tower floors, adding Aku and UL enemies. There are currently 30 floors, and by completing floor 30, you can unlock Hermit's proper form with a fantastic gold cat fruit seed. Make sure to use the seed on Papaluga. Around early 2020, stupid bots appeared on Battlecats YouTubers videos. These bots always say two words and a double digit number. They are annoying as they were everywhere and seeing them in my comments section made me pissed. It seems like as of 2022, the issue has been resolved and I hope many more of these stupid bot rabbit holes are fixed on YouTube. Learn to Hate is a stage located in Uncanny Legends Subchapter 38 Space Time Distortion. Other than its outstanding name, you have to face off against the bosses from Stories of Legends. This particular stage is a terrifying remake of the boss stage from Learn to Love, with additions of different peons and stronger enemies. Learn to Hate is on this iceberg for my distaste towards this annoying stage. Floor 43 is a difficult stage with a boss, Musashi, and consists of constant dread boars with Zhang Ru's and Ultra Babas for support. The stage is one of the most challenging stages in Heavenly Tower and was later nerfed. To this day, Floor 43 is still one of the most annoying, frustrating stages in the game, even after the nerf. Doge Tank is an enemy that appears and most appeared in the final stage. He pops up as a Doge driving a tank, which looks really silly to me. Defeating Doge Tank rewards you with a rare ticket once you clear the stage.
Yokai Dota Bat Daisenso is a game from the Gegege no Kentaro series that originated in 1965 by Shigeru Mizuki. The game was developed in 2018 by Ponos and Dina and has many similarities with Battle Cats, the tower defense system, the gacha system, and being a ruthless game. Even though it's similar to Battle Cats, the game has some of its features and mechanics, with elements from the game being implemented into Battle Cats, like having 10 slots on the screen. Recently, I've been addicted to playing Kentaro game and Currently, as I'm writing the script, there's a collab with Doremi, and it's fantastic. Loki's description is ominous to say the least. There seems to be profound and fascinating lore behind this description, talking about driving cats and sting, and great battles with original cat army. I wonder what this means. There's so much lore to uncover in this game. Maybe I'll make some conspiracies in the future? Like maybe how he was almost destroyed by Philly Buster maybe? Yuriren's family tree talks about more profound lore, with some legend units being related by family. Like how Yuriren is related to Yulala by a subscription saying that he has a 12 year old daughter that players link to Yuriren. People also speculate that Yuriza Minka is either a mother or sister of Yuriren. What do you all think? If you have any interesting theories, tell me in the comments and maybe I can make a video about Balakat's lore and ideas. It's a spooky story from Lucas IV. Make sure to check it out. If you haven't, link in the description. Frame 19 refers to a picture of Mina looking like a badass assassin. Mina is slowly becoming my favorite legend unit in the game, and this frame is making her higher on that list. Beta Filibuster is the Ubera version of Filibuster that only appears in the Korean and Switch version of the game. In his first form, he is called Evangelinus Cat. Chicken Cat was a scrap dynamite Uber in the Japanese version of the game, hidden on the game's data but soon after discarded in version 8.7. Exgal said in a YouTube comment on Tasta's video about his theory. Exgal said that the cats are not the bad guys, and Dagumaru is a sign of peace between the cat and Doge army. You can read the rest about it if you pause the video. There are ban limits to the game where if you hit a specific amount of items, cat food, or tickets, you could have a chance of getting your account banned. When you're hoarding, be careful with the amount you have. There are Battle Cats books in Japanese. It makes sense as it's one of the most popular gacha games. There are currently 9 volumes with a series of 1 page shorts. I have 2 manga volumes and one other that's a guide on units. Slave to Energy is another UL stage in the subchapter Realm of Waiwari and is a remake of Clustroniotophobia. It used to be a challenging stage, taking over 20 attempts because of those strong gories that kill Octo quickly and the high level wave of toucans. The level was nerfed in 11.2, most likely because Slave to Energy received 2 crowns on the same update with one less pack of toucans. Steampunk is an unreleased subchapter in Stories of Legends that turned into weak and mildly acidic, and was the proper introduction to Cyberface. It would have been interesting to have this subchapter instead of weak and mildly acidic. I wonder what horrors were inside Steampunk. Cyberface spam? It is safe to say we will never know. This was an old accusation of Anwar 4 stealing ideas from Seven, like the Dark Laser vs Doremi video, hacking cat stats and manipulating the RNG. It was resolved as Anwar 4 was found not guilty. Bloodsucker was a placeholder name for one of the most non-prestigious enemies in the game, Professor A. It feels like it would have been a better name for this mistake of an enemy, but I understand as Balakat is supposed to be a kid's game. This message means that your account moved to a different device and you have to reinstall the game and start Battle Cats from the start. The problem was that players were randomly targeted with this message and had to contact Ponos for this random occurrence because people can steal your account with the code provided on the left corner of the title screen or a bug where you transfer your account too often. Mystic Yurel Mutaito is a theory I made up over a year ago in the old Iceberg video. This theory states that Mystic Yurel can be Mutaito in the Dragon Ball series. 
there are some intriguing links from Mystic URL. A big piece of evidence is one that I found in URL's description saying, Feebled martial artist who sealed away the Demon King. It was apparent that Mutaito sealed away King Piccolo, referred to as the Demon King, in the Dragon Ball series. Other smaller factors, like how they're both leaders, tons of Dragon Ball references, and martial artists, mastering powerful attacks. Evil Containment Wave relates to Surge attacks. But remember, this is all speculation, and I think that this is an interesting theory. A couple of months ago, there was a crisis of some of the most important names on the YouTube Battlecats community, where channels had a week's notice before their channel was permanently removed from the platform by Ponos. There was quite a lot of speculation, but the causes was from leaking cat game content on their YouTube videos. Battlecats is the original version of the Battlecats, started on the App Store and Google Play Store around 2012 to 2014. The game got cut from stores and replaced by what we have today, but not the same as the Japanese version, which had updates to make the game non-controversial. It was deleted from the stores and later updated on JP because of the enemy's highly inappropriate descriptions and names. For example, Elizabeth wow. and Miss Sign's description. Family structure is father, mother, brother, and a patron. She is a wow. This subreddit is about sharing mature content about battle cats created by somebody on March 20th, 2019. It currently has 2,500 members with a variety of posts. I highly recommend not going to the subreddit as now I'm scarred for life researching this subject. Be careful of the internet, it's a vast place of the unknown. Go Go Graduates is a celebration event about final exams and graduating that first appeared on February 19th, 2018 on the Japanese version. Besides its celebratory event, the English version took over a year to release. Five days before Go Go Graduates, a tragic event shocked the world. On February 14th, 2018, there was a deadly shooting in Stoneman Douglas High School, where 17 people had passed away. It didn't help that Go Go Graduates event is school themed and had an enemy with a weapon, which was most likely the leading cause for the year delay of the EN version of Go Go Graduates. Quite a scary coincidence.